11 rare genetic disorders people actually have. Number 11. Hamame syndrome. This rare genetic disorder causes the person to develop craniofacial dimorphisms that commonly include having an increased distance between where the inner corner of the left eye and the inner corner of the right eye meet, lateral eyebrows, and an increased length of the upper jaw. This can also be accompanied by severe developmental disabilities, myopia, and hearing loss. This syndrome has only affected a handful of people in the entire world, and it was only recently back in 2012 that scientists finally figured out how it was caused. They say that Hamame syndrome occurs due to a genetic mutation in the IRX5 gene. There is still, however, no known cure. Number 10. Noonan Syndrome Noonan Syndrome is a congenital disorder that causes a person to have multiple issues, such as a chest with a caved-in appearance, a flat-nosed bridge, and a webbed neck. It's believed that only 1 in 2,500 children worldwide is born with this due to the autosomal dominant inheritance of this syndrome. Children have a 50% chance of developing Noonan Syndrome if just one of their parents is a carrier. The oldest known case of this affliction is dated all the way back to 1883. Number 9. Lamellar Ichthyosis This rare skin disorder causes newborn babies to shed their skin, much like snakes and other reptiles. The infants are born with what's called a collodion membrane, a waxy outer layer of skin that they shed around two weeks after they're born and reveal the real condition underneath. Their skin resembles that of fish scales and covers the armpit, groin, neck, and other areas of the body. This affects their sweat glands and causes them to overheat, along with other medical issues, such as affecting their eyes. In order for this to occur, both parents must carry the gene as it is recessive. There are no cures, but it can be treated with retinoids and proper moisturizing of the skin. Number 8. Cruzon Syndrome This genetic disorder, also known as branchial arc syndrome, happens to affect the first branchial arc. The cause of this syndrome is due to a genetic mutation on the fibroblast growth factor receptor 2 that is found on the 10th chromosome. What happens is that during development, the child's facial bones and skull will merge together too early or they won't expand at all, thus creating abnormal facial growth. Take Pitero Bayakatonda, for example. Found in a small town in Uganda, his case was one of the most extreme ones where his skull was so malformed would push his eyeballs out of his sockets. Fortunately, he had surgery that helped reshape his skull and now lives a more comfortable life. Number 7. Ectopia cordis. This rare disorder only affects 1 in 100,000 babies and it causes their hearts to develop outside of their chest cavity. These cases can be diagnosed before birth through ultrasound screenings, though sometimes not every case gets identified. Most of the infants born with this aren't expected to have a high chance of survival or even be delivered alive. However, there is one case where a man named Christopher Wall was born with this malformation and lived to be 33 years old. Unfortunately, due to the delicateness of the heart, there is no known cure, but there have been a few cases of successful operations. Number 6. Harlequin Ichthyosis Considered as the most serious version of ichthyosis, this form causes the afflicted infants to suffer from severely cracked skin. This is caused by the hardening of the keratin layer of the baby's skin that can also affect the eyes, nose, and ears. Many of the babies who develop this don't tend to survive because of the lack of motion that is caused or they usually succumb to dehydration and infection. There are only 12 people living with this disease in the entirety of the United States. Sadly, there is no cure for this hereditary condition, though it can be made manageable by keeping the skin moisturized and using oral retinoids. Number 5. Turner Syndrome This syndrome is classified as a rare condition that affects only 1 in every 5,000 female births. The first ever case of Turner Syndrome was described way back in 1938 by endocrinologist Henry Turner. Basically, what happens is that instead of having 46 chromosomes, the individual usually has 45 chromosomes since there is usually an X chromosome that is fully or partially missing. There is no known cure, however it can be treated. Growth hormones can be administered to increase the body's height along with estrogen estrogen replacement therapy to aid in the development of secondary sexual characteristics. Number 4. Choroidal Melanoma This is a type of uveal melanoma, also referred to as ocular melanoma, that happens to be a form of cancer that occurs in the eye. Tumors that form in the chorid layer of the cornea 
can grow to be massive in size. These tumors also happen to be the most common form of intraocular tumors that occur in adults. Treatments are available, although they vary depending on the size of the tumor. Symptoms can include loss of vision, seeing floaters, distorted vision, and flashes of light. Doctors are stumped when it comes to trying to figure out what causes this, however, they do know that melanoma of the eye occurs when something goes wrong in the DNA of healthy eye cells. <laughs> Number 3. Neurofibromatosis. This is a series of severe genetically inherited disorders that are classified by three different types, type 1, 2, and 3. NF1 causes the body to become enveloped by benign tumors that can cause damage to the nerves and surrounding tissue by putting pressure on them. Only one copy of the gene is required for this disorder to occur, which means that if there is only one parent that is the carrier of the gene, their offspring has a 50% chance of developing it. There is no known cure for this condition, but treatment is available for individuals depending on the severity of their case. Number 2. Congenital Melanocytic Nevis This is a type of birthmark that only happens in around 1% of babies worldwide and is classified as either small, medium, or giant. The bearer can choose to have the larger moles removed due to the psychosocial burden that they cause the patient to endure and others purely for aesthetic reasons. For example, Didier Montalvo was only a young boy from rural Colombia when he began to develop congenital melanocytic nevus. This caused the moles on his body to grow rapidly and one grew so large it covered his entire back earning him the nickname Turtle Boy. Montalvo was six years old when doctors removed the mark and he now lives a normal life free of ridicule. Number 1. Craniopagus parasiticus Better known as a parasitic twin, Craniopagus parasiticus is an extremely rare condition where one twin absorbs their sibling in utero. Rudy Santos, who was born in the Philippines way back in 1953, is said to be the oldest person to suffer from this affliction. There happened to be an extra pair of arms and legs attached to his abdomen and pelvis. Along with all that, Rudy is also fixed with an underdeveloped head that has an ear and some hair. His body also developed an extra set of nipples. Santos Santos would go on to become one of the main attractions whilst on the road with a traveling freak show back in the 70s and 80s. It was performing here that he would gain the stage name of Octoman. In 2008, Rudy was given the opportunity to finally have his twin removed. However, he refused by stating that he had grown too attached to his extra parts.